I am drowning in a sea of comfrey right now. So it's time to start putting this comfrey to good use. So we're gonna have an exciting comfrey video today. I did a comfrey giveaway contest to my subscribers that ended on May 15th, and I decided to choose two winners. I replied to their comments, and I still haven't got a response. So I'm going to drop those names in this video. But before I do that, we have to make a comfrey poultice because I've had tendonitis issues in this elbow for a long time, and apparently comfrey can help me out with that. We're gonna see if that truly works. It's said that true comfrey is the comfrey with the most medicinal value to it. The only problem with true comfrey is it does produce viable seeds that will spread all over the place. And as you can see here, I have been slacking with my true comfrey and I have lots of flowers that are starting to fall off. So we might get some extra comfries in here. But for the tendonitis in the elbow, I'm just going to go ahead, come in here, get me a nice comfrey leaf here. I'm going to tear the thicker part off there just so we have some leaves left over. Then I'm going to take this comfrey. I'm going to chew it up. It's got kind of a cucumber taste to it. Not the taste, it's the furriness of the comfrey that'll get you. I'm going to have to wash it out with some of grandpa's cough medicine. Got my chewed up poultice here. I took a sock and I cut the foot portion off of it. So I have this nice bandage type thing I'll be able to slide onto my elbow. I'm just gonna go right by that destroyed tendon. I'm gonna put this comfrey right on there. Slide the old sock up there to hold that comfrey in place. Now is this gonna work? I don't know. I'm gonna start doing this every day, see if I notice any difference. And if I do, I'll let you guys know. Before we go any further, let's announce the winners of the contest. First winner is Elizabeth Garrison ZR8FN. I replied to your comment on the original video. I told you to send me an email. Just shoot me an email at your address and I'll get you your comfrey. Second winner is Denise Jones 3735. Same thing. Go back, check that video, find the comment. The instructions are in there. And I'm feeling pretty generous. I got a lot of comfrey here to give away. So I might pick one more winner send some comfrey to towards the end of this video so stay tuned so comfrey kind of gets a bad rap that it might have some toxic properties that are going to cause liver damage especially if you live in the state of california problem with living in california is there's all these warning labels that tell you stuff can hurt you in the state of california so as long as you're not in the state of california you should be okay but don't take any of this as medical advice do all this at your own risk so i have just eaten comfrey before. I mean, it's not delicious. A lot of people make teas out of comfrey, tinctures. But as far as all this comfrey goes, I gotta chop it down because we got way too many flowers here, even though the bees are enjoying it. And something I am very proud of, I weeded the asparagus for the first time in three years. It only took about 36 hours and we pulled about 220 gallons of quack grass, goldenrod, all kinds of weeds out of here. So some of these areas where we can go in between the asparagus, we're gonna do some cover cropping with some hairy vetch and some crimson clover. But some of these walking areas here and around these plants, I'm gonna use this comfrey to fill that in just so the weeds can't grow through it. So right here, here's a smaller plant. I'm just gonna go ahead and chop her up. Don't go all the way to the base like other people. Try to make sure that there's no flowers coming up on my true comfries. And this, I can take it and just chop and drop into all these areas, right around all these strawberries here. Put it in nice and thick. When you put comfrey down, it starts to get a little soupy at first, and then it gets kind of crunchy, but it does form a nice barrier to protect from different types of weeds on the soil surface. And since comfrey has super deep roots on it, it's mining nutrients that most other plants can't reach. That's all coming up to these leaves. We're putting it back on the soil surface here so it can sink back into the top layers of the soil where it's accessible for other plants. I'll be operating out of an abundance of caution with this comfrey since it has flowered and been pollinated. There could be some viable seeds here. So this comfrey, I'm gonna 
keep it to areas where I don't mind if comfrey does pop up. And that's going to be along here where I have these chives planted along the asparagus. So same deal. We're going to take the comfrey. I'm chopping off all these flower stalks. I'm going to put them thick on the ground here. Still a little bit of quack grass left in there. I got a feeling the quack grass is going to come back. We're back in here doing this all again. Don't feel bad hacking up your comfrey. Comfrey is going to grow right back. You never get rid of comfrey. So make sure when you plant your comfrey that you're planting it where you want comfrey to be forever. It doesn't look so great after you chop it up, but look at all this mulch we got on the soil surface here now. This comfrey about two weeks and it's gonna be back. I got this big goon over here. This is another one of the comfries I grew from seed that we don't want to flower and disperse seeds. It's right next to the currants. We don't need comfrey overtaking currants. So I'm gonna chop this guy up. I'm gonna fill up this garbage can with this one. While I'm over here, I am gonna take some of these leaves and toss them right underneath these currants, the ones that don't have any flowers on them where we gotta worry about seeds. The currants really appreciate it. I've been doing this for a while now and the currants are flourishing. Somewhere mixed with all this three and a half foot tall comfrey are some apple trees. So we're getting a little overcrowded here. In this situation, the comfrey is starting to block some airflow over to my calamar apple trees, but that's okay. We can come in here I'm not going to cut all this comfrey. I'm just going to cut some of these taller stalks off and I'm just laying them around this tree. Comfrey is fantastic chop and job. It's fertilizer, it's weed suppression, it's flowers for the pollinators. I've seen some hummingbirds. The hummingbirds really love the comfrey. And I don't go nuts when I chop this stuff down. I just take down a little bit just to Put around my fruit trees and open up some airflow. The thing you can do with the comfrey, instead of cutting it, you can just take it and kind of break the stems off at the ground and lay it down. That way these flowers are still here so the pollinators can come in and utilize these flowers. Let's take her and give her a crunch and a stomp. And if you remember, we did some comfrey propagation where I took some crowns Here's one of my plants where I put the crown in. It's got some flowers on it. This thing is gonna grow just as big as all these other comfries. You can just see how much of the wood chip surface these comfries are covering. Can't think of a better pollinator plant than the comfrey. And you get all kinds of different bugs that visit. Here's a five foot tall Arkansas black apple tree just surrounded by Tons of comfrey. I gotta fight the bees to do this, but I gotta take some of this comfrey out of here. It's just getting a little too high and a little too thick. And this is why we plant the comfrey by the fruit trees so we can just chop and drop. In this case over here, I'm just going to take this comfrey and smash it down. I'm gonna take some of this and put more in my garbage can here. I wanna load this thing up. When I'm cutting my comfrey, I always leave some comfrey for the pollinators. I have a limited amount of the Bocking 4 comfrey, so I ended up chopping this plant in half, taking one of the crowns, putting it here, and one on the other side. You can see these very quickly, within a week or so, start to do fantastic. So if you're a contest winner for here and I send you some comfrey crowns, you can expect your comfrey to grow just as big as all these comfries I have right now, just in the first season. And you can even take those when they get this size and split them up and get more comfries. You could plant them out in the fall, they'll get established, and by spring, you're gonna have comfries all over the place. If you're making compost, comfrey leaves are a great nitrogen source for compost. These will make your pile get really hot. They also contain almost more protein than meat. So I love taking these and giving them to the chickens. Unlike a lot of people that do this, my chickens are not huge comfrey fans. They do pick at some of it, but more importantly, they're gonna scratch all this comfrey up 
it's going to get mixed with all this other yard waste and weeds I pulled from the garden and eventually we're going to have some great chicken compost in this area in the chicken composting system. Those are some healthy birds right there. It's a shame someone had to report me for animal abuse on YouTube for feeding them mature audience plant, which is also very healthy to give your chickens. Besides the winners I already mentioned, I'm going to pick one more winner out of the beaver rabbit Stetson hat right here. I did mention you have to be a U.S. resident to win this. I don't know about the rules for shipping this to Canada or Europe or anywhere else for that matter. And I'm sure shipping would be very expensive to get to those places. I'm paying for all this out of pocket just as a thank you to all my supporters. I know there's a lot of people that always comment on all my videos. They're loyal followers. So if you're a loyal follower, leave a comment on this video and maybe I'll hit you up and just send you some comfrey. So let's pick the third winner here. If the first two winners don't contact me in a month or so, I'm just going to keep picking until someone gets back to me. But hopefully they get back to me because they are the winners. So let's see here. Completely random. Make sure I only got one here. TikTok 2383. You are the winner of any type of comfrey you want except for backing four. You can have 14 or true comfrey. Leave a comment. I'll give you my email. Send me an email. I'll send you your comfrey. If you guys like giveaways, I'm going to do a lot more of these giveaways. I got a lot more different types of plants coming in here that I can send to my followers. I like giving back to the people that help build this channel to as many subs as we got now in such a short period of time. Thanks for watching.